Hey there, it's Danielle Smith. By now you know how much I love the Olympics and you definitely know how I feel about women's gymnastics specifically. If you haven't already seen, please take a look at the video I did uh, about the coverage and commentary that both Jordan Weaver and Allie Raceman received after Jordan was eliminated from the all around and Allie Raceman took the slot next to Gabby Douglas. But what I would like to talk about right now is of course Gabby Douglas winning the women's all around, which is historic for a couple of reasons. It is historic because she's the first African-American woman to win the award, but it's also historic because she's the first woman to win the all-around and the team award in the same year, and she's only the fourth woman to ever win the award. But that's not the only thing I would like to talk about because it's fabulous and it's wonderful, but I want to talk about Gabby's popularity and why she's sort of she's charming us and why she's capturing our hearts and and why her effervescent personality is just one of those things we can't seem to get enough of she reminds us or at least she reminds me so much of Mary Lou Retton and I suspect and you can tell me what you think that Gabby will be around much like Mary Lou Retton has been even though there are other gymnasts who have won this award I mean think about Nastia Lukin Nastia also won this award, but I was reading in the New York Times that, you know, Nastia didn't end up everywhere the same way Mary Lou Retton did. And, you know, even when the Olympics come around now, even though Mary Lou Retton won back in 1984, every time the Olympics roll around, we still see Mary Lou Retton in ads. There was just something about her bubbly and lovely and fresh and Nastia is beautiful and she's always in pink and she's sweet and she's kind. But there's something, again, about Gabby that just grabs you. And I would love to know what you think. Do you think that uh, athletes are more or less likable, that we can relate to them more or less by the personality they display? Do you attach yourself to some of the Olympic athletes in a certain way? Are there athletes that you have found yourself especially rooting for because... You just can't get enough of them. Think about Missy Franklin, uh, one of the swimmers. I found myself really rooting for her as well. Is it their personality? Is, it, is there something about them that makes you root for them especially hard because it's in their smile, it's in their spirit, they feel like winners to you? And do you find that, you know, the ones that don't smile as often, that they feel a little more sullen, that maybe you just don't have it in you to really push for them the same way? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Make sure that you comment below. Of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel because I love to hear from you and I love to have you keep coming back. And I can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to connect.